This is the hill that I will die on. You cannot become what you hate to save what you love. You can't do that and destroy the thing that you love in, this, in the process. Now you're going to say, well, they did it first. It's like, well, he hit me. Look, we've got to get better in how we fight. 100% agree with that. We've got to charge people with crimes that commit crimes. 100% agree with that. We agree on a lot of those things, but we do not need to do what the other side is doing. They are not following the rules. I get it. They're breaking the rules. It's time to tear down the system that they have built on top of the country that we love. Do that. <laughs> Given by a court, and they are in total conjunction with the White House and the DOJ, just so you understand. This is all done by Biden and his people. Yeah. Uh, maybe his people, more importantly. I don't know if Biden knows too much about it. <laughs> yes. I don't know if he knows about anything. <laughs> but he's nevertheless the president, so... We have to use his name. And <laughs> this is done by Washington. In other words, you could go into every single thing that I ever did. Was he a bad boy here? Was he a bad boy there? <laughs> <laughs> and my lawyer said, what do you need to go through? Oh, and all you boy. wanted to do is testify simply on this case. It's Bragg. Bragg didn't want to bring it. But then he brought it. <laughs> and they tried to make it a different case. They didn't say legal expense equal legal expense. Again, if I wrote down and paid a lawyer, and by the way, this was a highly qualified lawyer. Now, I'm not allowed to use his name because of the gag order. But you know, he's a sleazebag. Everybody knows that. It took me a while to find out. Oh, you see the compliment lay up? He goes, yeah, highly qualified work. lawyer. He's a sleazebag, though, he right? You know, a fixer. Everybody he was a knows lawyer. that. You know, I'll tell you, though, he's working that right hand. Yes, he standard is. Standard stuff. That Everything thing is. involved was standard. There was no crime here. In fact, I just watched. A couple of the reports, you watch Jonathan Turley, Andy McCarthy, Greg Jarrett, you look at all of these people, uh, Mark Levin, all very talented people. Stephen Great Crowder. People. Oh, wow. You said many more. Oh, many more. That's a good mention. Now, let me give you the good news. The good news is. <laughs> Here we go. Fundraising? Last night. Yeah. We just got a report this morning. In the history of politics, oh, I boy. believe, maybe I'm wrong, but somebody will find out more, maybe. But I don't maybe know. I'm wrong. They raised with small money donors, meaning like $21, $42, $53. I thought you were going to go $38. Yes, like a, a record $39 million in a, about a 10 hour period. 30% wow. of those were new donors, no, brand new donors. What? One out of three were brand new donors. That doesn't even include my donation. Yeah. Uh -huh. I like those people. I like those people. Me too. Yeah. yeah. Fact check true. Because so far, I guess it's backfiring. Now, I don't know. I'd rather not have it happen. I don't want to have it backfiring. I don't want to win this thing legitimately, not because they were stupid and did things that they shouldn't be doing. <laughs> there we they go. Have oh, he's starting case. to feel it. All right. I like it. And it all comes out of the White House. Crooked Joe Biden, the worst president in the history of our country. He's the worst president. Former vice president, sir. In the history I, I hate of to have to our country. You. The most incompetent. He's the dumbest president we've ever had. <laughs> he's the dumbest president. He paused and he's like, nope, president. I'm going to do it. <laughs> and he's the most dishonest president we've ever had. I just wanted it to be a pointed middle finger to everybody who thinks this is going to stand. I think to be fair, like, put yourself in his shoes. He is a 70, what, 77-year-old dude. That's just been yeah. through hell, been everything of course. in the kitchen yeah. sink thrown at him, and he still made it. Like, again, I, you know me. I have not been the biggest Trump apologist by any means. He was right. never my first choice. I'm all behind him now, 100%. More than I ever have been behind a candidate ever because of what's going on. Yeah. But for him to be able to come out and still give that coherent of a message, I, I, in, I'm, I was impressed by that. Just the fact that he has probably not slept in the last month. Yeah. He comes out. No one wrote that speech for him. No, he just again, did it. A little more direct. Sure, that would have been great. But I mean, I'm not. And I'm, I'm again. I'm yeah. splitting hairs here a little bit. But sure. I, I just and all really the way want... skirting his gag order the whole time. Well, yeah, <laughs> that so, was I the mean, funny part yeah. because you know he's dancing around it. He's angry. He wants making to, uh, sure. Yeah. yeah. People like Donald Trump know in this case that if he gets up on the stand, it is just going to be a PR stunt for the other side. That's it. They're going to ask a bunch of questions that have nothing to do with the case. Do you know how I know? Because they brought Stormy Daniels in to testify. Why? She didn't have anything to do with this case that needed testifying. Those to. facts had nothing to do with it. Nothing. nothing. Nothing whatsoever to do with this case. And they did it. Trump is smart for not testifying. Also, no cameras in the courtroom. Hmm. People basically have to write what he said down 
and bring it out. Maybe they can record it, you know, audio recordings. I don't know. I haven't heard any of those, so I don't think that you can as well. I think you have to just write it. They've been doing text messages basically on CNN of what's going on. He didn't have any possible chance of getting his narrative out. And by the way, he doesn't need your crappy news coverage to get his message out. $39 million says he's doing just fine. It's the same way they can take away that he can't string a sentence together and then they'll defend for 45 minutes former, he did though the former vice president for being vigorous and youthful and blah and we have a clip from him spry spry also from two days ago i want to watch this and you tell me if you think this is vigorous okay right well, we'll never forget lying around and him how he, and us him him lying around actually <laughs> well, we'll never forget. you'll never forget but then you did this One is, second uh, later, oh, I forgot him. Who, who was who? lying around? I don't know. Joe oh. was lying Ashley, around. Ashley I was in the Joe. shower with my daughter, and what? It's like a sitcom, man. <laughs> it really. I'll never forget. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> and he went public with this. Yeah. That's a big thing. He said, "I'm prepared to lose friends. Here's why." Yes. By 2020, I was disillusioned and didn't vote. I didn't like either option. I understand why on the other side, not on the Trump side. Now in 2024, I believe this is one of the most important elections of my lifetime and I'm supporting Trump. Wow. You start losing Silicon Valley billionaires and they're willing to come out publicly. This is yeah. a monumental shift in Huge. what is the Overton window in discussing politics now. Yeah, absolutely. So go ahead and go ahead and play what we did and I'll talk over it and we'll pause. So he's typing in right now, how to donate to. Okay, Trump doesn't come up anywhere there, fine. All right. All right, go in. T. Pause. Who, who are these people? The Salvation Army, the Chosen, Thrift Store, the Homeless, Tunnel to Towers, the V. The and VA. this was this morning. <laughs> the right? This was this morning, I know. This the, morning. The American Cancer Society, to the IDF, <laughs> to the Humane Society. Who's Tom Nook and why does he need donations? We'll get into that later. Go ahead and play. R. Pause. How to donate to troops? Trapper, RD. R2, don't effectively to charity. It, it goes away from TR to all these other possible searches. Like there could not possibly be a person looking for how to donate to Trump. By the way, I tried this with Donald Trump and the same thing happened, but keep playing. We'll make it easier for you, Google. How about TRU? Oh, pause. No search results whatsoever. Now we don't even have any idea what you're trying to find. Before, we were like, hey, here's a bunch of other things that you might be looking for, but we can't find what you're trying to find. Now we just have nothing. Go ahead and play it through to the end. Nothing. Mm. <clears throat> nothing! Let it keep going. Okay, pause. What does it show here? Nothing but stories about Donald Trump's site crashing and the promotional that used to be on there is, is no gone longer. it's okay so this morning there was a paid ad by the donald trump promote the, the site basically to be able to donate to him it was a sponsored ad that was there so that you could donate to donald trump now yep. nothing scrolling down we got why nothing. trump's wall street president donald trump everyone's against this case youtube blah blah blah, blah. I thought Google's new AI would have surely instructed voters how to give to the trump campaign I mean it's that so is election <laughs> interference right there they don't have your back, and these guys are absolutely trying to control the information that you see. That is why you have to get off of these sites. You have to get over to Rumble. You guys that are signed up for Mug Club, I know you know this, but tell your friends. Show them. Clip this and show them <laughs> so that they can see it. We'll put this out on social media so that people can see this and just share our link. Make sure that they see what is going on. How should Republicans respond? I saw a lot of things last night on X, and I'm sure I'm gonna see them again today, that Republicans should just start, like Republican DAs, Republican governors, Republican attorneys general, all of those, they should start doing the same thing. And to that I say, no, we should not. Now, it's qualified because Lane and I disagree in some ways about this, but I am saying we should not start prosecuting people that haven't broken the law, clearly. We should not start manufacturing charges extending the uh, statute of limitations, mm. we shouldn't start doing, and I'll, I'll go to the, this is, this is the hill that I will die on. You cannot become what you hate to save what you love. You can't do that and destroy the thing that you love in, this, in the process. You can't go that route. 
You can't say, I have to tear up the Constitution to save the Constitution. That doesn't work. All it does is start an endless cycle of people being prosecuted politically, which is what we were trying to avoid. Now, you're going to say, well, they did it first. It's like, well, he hit me. Look, we've got to get better in how we fight. 100% agree with that. We've got to charge people with crimes that commit crimes. 100% agree with that. We agree on a lot of those things, but we do not need to do what the other side is doing. They are not following the rules. I get it. They're breaking the rules. Oh, no, we can't just sit over here and not break the rules. We can actually use the rules the way they were supposed to be used in the first place. And like I said to start this show, it's time to tear down the system that they have built on top of the country that we love. Do that to defeat them. Defeat them at the ballot box. Defeat them in all kinds of other ways and be incredibly shrewd in how we do it. We have to fight better, but we can't just go and find one of their democratic people and go, here's a bunch of charges that we're just going to kind of make up and not have a crime that is the, the, the predicate crime here. And uh, we'll do the exact same thing because it will never end. See, they'll do it. We'll do it. They'll do it. We'll do it. It'll just be back and forth. Like, I, should lose the trust I, have the to, I have to push back on that a little bit. Do it. Because I get what you're saying. If the crime was never committed, you, you should not go out and create a crime where it doesn't exist. Right. Now, when we get into the statute of limitations thing, I'm sure that a lot of these people did things that were criminal, that the statute of limitations ran out. I don't think we're breaking the rules. I think they updated the rule book, and we need to play by that rule book that they created. Like when they killed the filibuster, and Mitch McConnell said, you will rule the day. Because we switched and started playing by these new set of rules, we now have a 6-3 majority in the Supreme Court. That's the only shot we have at overturning something like this. Because I don't disagree with it's that like, line. It's like yeah. the Native Americans when the Europeans were fighting them with guns, and they're like, no, we're going to fight with honor because that's our rule system. Well, they have, uh, a, new sort of. They have a new tool that they've incorporated into this war. And you're stupid if you're not going to use that new tool. I'm not saying as long as it doesn't violate what we hold dear, which is the rule of law in this country. If it violates that, I'm out. I will not ever support it. You, so if the the statute of limitations thing, if you could get Biden on the exact same sort of uh, technicalities, you wouldn't want to do it because the what? Trump is being I would no because I just spent an hour telling people how stupid this is. I'm yes, but the underlying that I'm talking about the technicalities, not the crimes that those technicalities open up prosecution to. Because the crimes are going to be more serious. But if the technicality is, well, yeah, but he committed those crimes five years ago and the statute of limitations ran out three years ago. I don't give it I don't give a crap at this point because that's all that Republicans have done is said, well, you know, we got it. Well, I don't know. We got it. Well, so there's a there's a there's a split the difference kind of thing here. I understand what you're saying. And you're right. Like conservatives for too long have just kind of been like, oh, golly, gee, what are we going to do? Gee, I totally gee. get that. Right. I absolutely 100 percent get that. But. I am not for changing the rules in the past to go after somebody. If the statute of limitations has run out, then change the statute of limitations and go after them if they do it again. I'm sorry. That's just how the rule book is. I don't care what the left does up to a certain point. I care about what we do. I think there are plenty of tools available to us if we will just have the balls to use them without having to go and change the rule book. I do want to get rid of the system that they are creating on top of the system that we all love and that we fought for, right? Thank you for your service, Josh. We have to do that in this, you know, at some point. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I didn't do anything. But you did. You did a lot. Frankly. Oh, it's all deleted in those emails. It was huge. Huge. Huge, Josh. Biggest fish I've ever seen. But we have to make sure that you don't lose your head in a moment like this. And Lane, you're not saying this. And so there were a lot of other people that were saying more of this, like we should just be arresting Democrats across the state and we should be doing this right now. We have to do this. I, I don't know. Hold hold, hold on. <laughs> like, I understand the sentiment. If they've broken the law, fine. If, if they, to your point, if they've lobbied for the statute of limitations to be limited or for some kind of thing to be put in to protect themselves, then I think there's a way to handle those people as well. Because they may have done something illegal to try to cover up a crime, and in the furtherance of a crime, maybe there's a, a, an extended statute of limitations that can be applied. Fine. Right. But I'm not for just going, for example, I would not be for going, hey, let's just pack the Supreme Court and add 10 more justices so that we can make sure that our people are the people deciding these rules, even though I think we're right. No, but because that is not a way that is sustainable. You can't do the, that. The question that comes into play then, if that's if let's play that game out, if a Democrat is elected, they get whatever sixty in the Senate, and they decide to pack the Supreme Court, and they make it a I don't know what is it a, we're at nine. Let's say they make it to thirteen, so they can make it uh, seven six. Okay, well then, when a Republican is elected, should what what would happen if we get a sixty seat majority? I, I understand. Do we just sit there and be like, well, no. I guess that, that you know. 
No, I, I don't <laughs> That's think... the rule of law. No, no, no. But here's the thing. So what's the alternative? They have to be... What is the alternative? There has to be a deterrent in effect where they know... Like what? That they know if they keep pushing it, that it will it will spiral out of control. That we are not afraid. I know. It's a game of chicken, and they keep winning that game of chicken. But nobody's telling them. The road. Nobody's telling them stop, or we will we will throw you out by force. Nobody's saying that. People are just saying we just need to do what they're doing. And I'm like, that's not no, a game it has you to play. Be tactical, and it has to be legal. But at a certain point, if they destroy the rule of law so much, you're no longer playing by this imaginary set of rules that we all would like to be playing by. I understand. And we can't hope and wish for them to come back. I know, there but the alternative is you have to be willing to go to the extreme to solve it. Yes. That's where I think people are missing the point because just arresting Democrats no, that's and stupid. trying them you can't just take is dumb Democrat because then it's going to happen again on our side and it's going to happen again on their side. And that just starts a downward spiral. You have to fix the problem. Fixing the problem is not playing by their rules. Fixing the problem is getting rid of the rules that are a problem. Getting rid of the people that are a problem. And that's what I'm saying. People don't understand. You're basically calling for civil war at that point. You're basically calling for some kind of armed conflict at that point. It's definitely and an escalation. I understand that. And that's fine if it ever gets to that point. I get it. We've done it once before. No right? one wants to I see get it. American. No one wants. No one's of calling for not. civil war. I'm not like no offense to Tim Poole. I'm not. That's not what I'm <laughs> No, I know. I saw here. that. But I, and I'm not even saying that land is a, is, a, is a slight. What I'm saying is, don't mess around with the in betweens of trying to just do what they do. It will just make this process worse. Watch Ladder with Crowder live Monday through Thursday, 10 a.m. Eastern.